Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, guys. Hello. How are you? Uh, fine, fine. I'm driving to my car in right now. No tengo tiempo. Suba. Let me check. Who's that? I think that um, we have a microphone open. Okay, perfect. So we're going to start in a moment. I'm going to start sharing the um, information that we're going to be checking in today's lesson. And a uh, welcome, by the way, my name is Arely Ramirez, and I'm going to be working with you during this uh, module. So I hope we can get along soon and we can have fun. Okay, so let me check. Um, this is Intermediate 2, right? Okay, so let me check that platform and then we're done, okay? Then we're ready to start. Okay, so in the previous lesson, you were talking about some phrasal verbs, right? So could you mention some examples? So what do you remember, guys? Let me see. Well, I remember uh -huh. the phrasal verb take out. For example, I take out the photography of the table. Or I would oh, get over. I would get over these... Mm -hmm. the for okay, excellent. Okay, so notice, um, right now we're going to be checking that pronunciation for that phrasal verbs that you have studied. Well, so more that we have, okay? So I'm going to start sharing now. Let me see. Okay. Okay, awesome. Okay, so remember, this is our lesson number three, right? So pronunciation stress in two part, okay, in two part verbs. So it means in phrasal verbs. So can you see my screen? Yes. 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 Perfect. Listen, we're gonna watch the video and later we're gonna have a discussion in it, okay? Hi again. Remember not only understanding grammar is important, but also pronunciation is as important. Please listen and practice the stress in two part verbs. Pronunciation. Stress in two part verbs. Part A, listen and practice. Both words in a two-part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn it off. Now that you have listened to the stress, go ahead and practice saying the following two-part verbs. Okay, so look at this. So as you have uh, noticed, um, the phrasal verbs are pronounced equal um, with an equal stress, right? Pick up or things. So what is the meaning for pick up? Any idea? What is to pick up? Levantar. Mm -hmm. Okay, levantar, recoger. Okay, for example, pick up our things and uh, let's go home. <laughs> but you're already at home, right? So if we um, were on site. Okay, Um, for example, let's see. Let's pick up. So let's pick up what? Any idea? Let's pick up. Pick up is like, let's pick up 
Uh -huh. uh, the bus. The bus. Okay. So how about? Hmm. Okay. So we have an another phrasal verb for that one. My girlfriend. Okay. I think. Ah. Okay. You can pick up someone, right? Right. Okay. Um. Of course. So how will you um ask someone to pick you up? How will you ask that? So could you pick me up where? Can you mention a place? Could you pick me up? Metro Centro. Okay. Okay. At Metro Centro. Yes. Metro Centro. Okay, so as if you notice, the pronunciation for uh, the phrasal verb is the same. So let's pick up the uh, flowers. So you pick me up at Metro Centro. And how about cut it out? Cut it out? What's that? Any idea? What, imagine a situation, uh, sorry. Imagine a situation where you're uh, fighting with someone, right? So you, uh, well, at the end, you don't want to continue with that uh, situation and you say, you say to that person, please cut it out. It's like oh, yeah. stop counting. Uh -huh. Stop, stop that conversation. Stop doing that, right? So cut it out, okay? So leave it that way, okay? Okay, so what's the meaning? Could you translate that into Spanish, please? Cut, cut it out. Cortar de... Cortar, cortarlo. Mm -hmm. Parale, right? So, ah. please stop that. Cut it out. Cut it out. Okay. How about uh, the next one? Drop me off. Drop me off. Recogerme. Recogerme. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. uh, in this case, drop me off means to take something or someone from one place to another. Drop me off on uh, the Metro Centro. It, was, it, it would be drop me off. So what's the translation? Do you know that? Drop me off. Yeah, me. Uh -huh. Drop me off of the church. Oh, okay. Drop me off a church. Okay. They have, right? They have la iglesia. Drop me off. Um, where? Any other place? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my my work. If that had... Okay. Mm -hmm. So, who you please? Okay. Drop me off. Next to the bakery, okay. So could you please drop me off next to the bakery? Okay. How about turn the radio up? Turn the radio up. So what's the meaning? What's the meaning for turn up? Turn up, turn up. Bajar el volumen, subir el volumen. Yes, right, the opposite. Okay, mm -hmm. and put the phone down. Any idea? Put down, okay? Put the phone down. Okay, it has several meanings. So, any idea? Put down, put down. Okay, it would be possible. Suelte el teléfono. Okay. Okay. So one meaning could be uh, stop something. Okay. Stop something. Another possible meaning would be end a call. Okay. End a call. So that means put the phone down. Okay. Put it down. Put it down. So it means that you stop doing something or you end a call. 
And uh, there is a, also another meaning, which is uh, denigrate, okay, put down, okay? But we need to see that in context. Okay, so we're gonna continue. Um, please, uh, I need you to practice that phrasal verbs with me, and then we continue with some more uh, activities. Pick up our things. Listen and repeat that with me. Pick up our things. Pick up our things. Pick up our things. Pick up our things. Put it out. 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 Drop me Put off. Drop me, me off. Me off. Turn the radio up. Turn the radio up. Turn. 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 the radio up. The radio up. Okay. Put the phone down. Put the phone down. Put the phone down. 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 Okay. Put it down. Okay. Down. Okay, so we're going to be checking some more examples. Just let me share. Okay. And we're gonna be uh, checking these uh, what some more uh, examples, some more phrasal verbs, right? Uh, look at this. Uh, describing a problem. Phrasal verbs. We're talking about cars. Read and listen. Then listen again and repeat. So we're gonna be listening to the pronunciation for these phrasal verbs. Okay. So here we go. Listen, listen and repeat. Okay. Read and listen. Turn on. Turn off. Pick up. Fill up. Drop off. Now listen again and repeat. Turn on. Turn off. Pick up. Fill up. Drop off. Okay. Let's see. Let's repeat that again together. Okay. Turn on. Turn on. Turn on. Turn on. Turn on. Okay, everybody, on. I need to listen turn to on. you. Turn on. Turn, turn on. on. Turn, turn on. off. Turn, turn off. off. Turn on. Pick up. Pick, Pick up. up. Fill up. Fill up. up. Drop off. Drop, Drop off. off. Okay. Once more. Read and listen. Turn on. Turn off. Turn, on. Turn on. Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Uh, drop off. Drop off. Drop now off. listen again oh. and repeat. Turn on. Turn on. Turn off. Turn on. Turn on. Pick, up. Pick up. Pick up. Fill up. Fill up. Fill up. Fill up. Drop off. Drop off. Drop off. Oh. Okay, nice. So look at this. Here we have uh, some sentences with the two parts of each phrasal verb. Okay, let's see. So turn on. What's the meaning for turn on? Could you give? Uh, could you use that turn on in a sentence? Turn on. I will turn off the radio. Okay. I will. 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 I will. Turn on the radio. Oh. I will turn on the radio. The... How about turn off? Turn off? Oh. We turn on the car. Okay, one example using turn off. Turn off. What's the meaning tur for turn off? Apagar. Apagar, okay. I will turn off the TV. Okay, I will turn off the TV. Okay, you have been watching lots of movies. Okay, pick up. One example, pick up. You said pick up. Okay. I'm going to pick up my children. My. I will, okay. 
I will speak up. Mm -hmm. So what if I say, uh, I will pick you up at, can you mention a time? I will pick you up. I will pick the children up at what time? Night. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes. 7 a.m. 7 a.m.? Okay, 7 a.m. Okay. 7. Okay, so what do you think about fill up? So what could be that? Mm -hmm. Fill up? Do you fill up your cards? Generato. Ah, okay. So look at the picture. Yes. Okay. Do you use fill up in a sentence? Fill up? Fill up? Uh-huh. I will fill up my my bottle of water. Your bottle of water, okay. That tank, okay. My bottle of water. Okay, drop off, drop off. Any idea? Let's see, let's be creative today. Uh -huh. Drop off. I will, I will drop off. Uh -huh. Do you remember the meaning for drop off? Yeah, dejar algo. Dejar algo en un lugar. Uh -huh. Okay, so you take yeah. something uh, from a uh, place the to another. The keys, or I think I will drop off the keys. Uh... Uh -huh, okay, I will drop off. Okay. Keys. Keys off. Okay. I will drop the keys off where? <laughs> Let's see, here, right? Okay. So now, we have to complete the sentences with the two parts of each phrasal verb. Let's see the examples. The car's almost out of gas. Let's go in here so I can, what is the phrasal verb? Help me, please. The car fill up. Fill up. Fill. Okay, so we have to split this phrasal verb into parts. The car is almost out of gas. Let's go in here so I can fill my car. It. Uh -huh. Fill it up. Fill it up. Fill, fill it up. Uh -huh. The pronoun is substituting car, right? So I can fill the car up. I can fill it. Up, fill it up, fill it up. Let's see, can you read the example, please? Um, Juan Carlos, read uh, sentence number one. Number one, just read it. Juan Carlos, hello. Saul, hello, Saul, Alexander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The car's almost out of gas. Let's go in in here so I can fill it up. Okay, perfect. Number two, it's raining. Let's see, and I can't, it's raining, and I can't. Turn on. Turn on. Turn off. Uh-huh. Turn on. Turn the windshield. Wipers. Okay. On. They aren't working. Can you read that example, please? Uh, Raul, please. Sentence number two. It's writing. It's writing. And counter. The wish and work on the aren't working. Okay, nice. The aren't working. Let's see, number three. Number three, volunteer, number three. Uh 
Let's can see. I use your car this afternoon? Okay. Can I use your car this afternoon? I can. I can turn. I can pick up. Uh huh. I can pick it up at three thirty if you don't need it. Okay. So what do you think? Pick up or drop off? Can I use your car this afternoon? I can. Uh, drop, I can drop, drop off. Drop off, yes. Drop ah, off. okay. Drop. So drop off what? Um. Uh -huh. Drop it off. Drop it off. Uh -huh. Drop the car off, right? So drop it off at 3.30 if you don't need it then. Let's see. Um, four. Let's see, volunteer number four. We had to return the rental car before six. Legs big. Legs big. It it up. Seriously. Mm -hmm. We have to return the rental car before six. Let's let's speed it up. Okay, let's pick it up early yeah. at the airport. Early at the okay. airport. Uh huh. And get, get some time to to eat. Okay. okay. Something. Something. Something to eat. Something to eat before. 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 Listen. Before. Before, before. Ah, before. Okay. Uh -huh. the thing is that you are the stress at the beginning. That's before, 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 before. No, before, before, before. Before. Yes, that's better. Okay, before. Okay. Okay. Uh, number five. I can't. I can't turn the air conditioning. Conditioning of of it freezing in here. Mm, so what do you think? Turn on or turn off? Turn, turn off. off. Turn off. Okay. I can turn the air conditioning off. It's freezing in here. Okay. Nice. So we continue with some more uh, examples. If you want, you can take a picture or a screenshot. Okay. Well, I'm gonna besides that, I'm gonna send I'm gonna send you that picture, okay? In here. So just send it, send me. Um, okay. Okay, so we're going to check this grammar point in here and then we'll continue with the pronunciation, the placement of direct objects with phrasal verbs. Okay, uh, let's see, look at this. We have phrasal verbs, uh, remember, contain a verb and a particle that together have their own meaning. For example, we have the main verb, turn, plus the particle, on, right? It's equal to star, to star a machine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's uh, the first part. And many phrasal verbs are securable. This means that a direct object noun can come before or after the particle. For example, we have turn on, turn off, pick up, drop off, and fill up are separable. So it means that you can place a noun in the middle, right? So look at this. Noun can come before or after the particle. Entonces, miren ahí, puede el sustantivo puede antes o después de la partícula. En este caso, la preposición, right? Um, look at the example. I'll drop off the car. Or I'll drop the car off. 
Okay, is that clear? So could you give me one example? Okay, I'll turn, complete the sentence, complete the sentence, please. I'll turn. I'll turn. The, I'll turn the radio on. Okay, the radio on, okay, or so what could be another way of writing this? I'll turn, turn on, on the radio. Radio, radio, radio. 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 Okay, okay. perfect. Let's see another example. <clears throat> I'll drop down. Complete the sentence. I'll drop down. I drop the, the case. The drop card. the email at the post office. Uh huh. I'll drop the key of. Okay. The keys. The key. Oh. 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 Okay. Or. I drop off the cane. Okay, I'll drop off the keys. Okay, the next. Keys. Excellent. And uh, look at this. We have the, um, some important information in here. We have to be careful with a separable phrasal verb. In this case, if the direct object is a pronoun, it must come before the particle. Okay, for example, I'll drop it off. No, uh, I'll drop off it. Quiere decir acá, si el sustantivo a lo que nos estamos refiriendo, como es esto directo, es un pronombre. It can be it, them, uh, us. Um, you don't have to place that at the end, right? I'll drop it off. No, a drop of it, right? So you place that pronoun in the middle. I drop it off. Did you fill them up? No, did you fill up them, right? Is it uh, clear? Where will they pick us up? Not where will they pick up us? Yes? Questions about it? Questions about it? One question. Mm -hmm. Esa regla aplica solo para cuando es un pronombre. Ah, okay. Ajá, cuando son pronombres. So it can be a direct object. Uh, if, well, if the direct object is a pronoun, it must come before the particle. Ajá, si es un, un objeto directo. I drop it off. What? What will you drop it off? The keys, right? It. So you place that in the middle. So that means whenever you have a pronoun, that's in the middle, right? Okay. And we're going to be checking um, the examples that you, we uh, saw at the beginning related to the stress of uh, particles in phrasal verbs. Let's see. We're going to watch the video. Stress of particles in phrasal verbs. We usually stress both the verb and the particle in a phrasal verb. One question. Can you see Drop the off. video? Yes. 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 Oh, okay. Yes. Perfect. Thank you, guys. I'm going to drop off the car. When an object pronoun comes between the verb and the particle, the pronoun is not stressed. Listen. Drop it off. Where are you going to drop it off? Listen to the stressed and unstressed words. 
Notice the stress in the phrasal verbs. Notice, too, the unstressed object pronouns. I'm going to drop off the car. Where are you going to drop it off? Don't forget to turn on your headlights. I've already turned them on. Could you turn off the air conditioning? Sure, but how do you turn it off? I need to pick up the tickets. When will you pick them up? Now listen and repeat. Click on pause after each sentence. I'm going to drop off the car. Where are you going to drop it off? Okay, so we're going to um, listen that again and repeat that part, right? Don't forget to turn on your headlights. I Don't forget to turn on your headlights. Okay, the first one. I'm going to drop... Okay, the first one. I'm going to drop off the car. Let's see. I'm going, going to, to drop, drop off the car. car. Going to drop off the car. To drop off the car. Number two. Where are you going to drop it off? Where are you going, are you going, going, going to drop, drop it off? off? Okay. Where are you going to drop it off? Where are you going to drop it off? Okay. Don't forget to turn on your headlights. Don't no, forget to turn on, on the door and the headlights. Okay, what are the headlights? Do you know that? Headlights? Headlights. Headlights. What's headlights. that? What's headlights. that? Headlights. The luces del... 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 Uh-huh. Okay. Turn them on. Okay, I've already turned them on. I've already turned them on. I've already turned them on. Turned them on. Turn it on. Turn them. Turn Turn them on. Turn them. 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 the them. Turn them. Turn them. Turn them. the them. Turn them. Notice, too, the unstressed object pronouns. I'm going to drop off the car. Okay. Let's practice these again. I'm going to drop off the car. I'm, gonna, I'm going to drop off the car. I'm going to drop off the car. Where are you going to drop it off? Where are you going to drop it off? Where are you going to drop it off? Okay, so if you notice in here, so the it pronoun it is um the sound is uh wicked, right? What are you going to drop it off? Where are you going, 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 going to drop, drop, it off? Off. Drop, it off. drop it off? Drop it off. Drop it off. Drop it off. Drop it off. Don't forget to turn on your headlights. 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 Turn them on. Okay. I already turned them on. I already turned them on. Already turn them on. Turn them on. I already turn them on. I already turn them on. Okay. Could you turn off the air conditioning? Could you turn off the air conditioning? Okay. So could you turn off the air conditioning? Listen and repeat that with me. Uh -huh. Turn off the air conditioning. Turn off the air conditioning. Okay. Sure, but how do you turn it off? 
Sure, but how do you turn it off? Turn it off. 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 Okay. To pick up the tickets. I need to pick up the tickets. I need to pick up the tickets. The tickets. 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 I need to pick up the tickets. I need to pick up the tickets. Okay, so what you have to notice in these phrasal verbs is that the pronouns are, um, let's say, well, the, the phrasal verb is pronounced or is stressed uh, the same, right? Equal, the same rhythm. But the pronoun is not, I need to pick up the tickets. But listen, I need to pick it up. I need to pick it up. Pick I up. Pick, up. pick it up. Pick up. Uh -huh. So that's why you have to notice that the sound is weaker, okay? Pick, pick it up. Pick, pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Yeah. The stress in here is the same. And um, in here, the it is not, uh, well, it's not, uh, doesn't raise, right? Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up, pick up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. When will you pick them up? And in here, it sounds like M, right? When will you pick them up? 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 Pick them up. When will you pick them up? When will you pick them up? Uh -huh. Yeah, when you're talking with people, it uh, well, they basically just uh, said M, right? That's the M sound. When will you pick them up? Um, when, when will you pick them up? Listen and repeat. Click on pause after each sentence. I'm going to drop off the car. I'm going, I'm going to drop to off the car. Where are you going to drop it off? Where are you going to drop it off? What are you going to drop it off? What are you going to drop it off? Where are you going to drop it off? Where are you going to drop it off? Aha. Uh -huh. Remember, so it has to have the same sound, okay? Recuerden, eh, los phrasal tienen el mismo, el mismo sonido, el mismo tono. Acá, con los pronouns, sí, se suena más suave. What are you going to drop it off? What are you going to drop it off? Okay. Drop it off. Where are you going to drop it off? Where are you going to drop it off? Listen again. Where are you going to drop it off? Where are you going to drop it off? Where are you going to drop it off? Don't forget to turn on your headlights. Don't forget, don't forget to turn on your headlights. Don't forget to turn on your headlights. Are you ready? Okay. Are, are you ready? Turn. Don't forget to turn on your headlights. Don't forget to turn on your headlights. Okay, so I'm going to play. Don't forget to turn on your headlights. Listen, listen, listen. Already turn them on. I've already turned it on. I've already turned it on. I've already turned it on. Don't forget to turn on your headlights. I've already turned them on. I've already turned them on. I've already turned it on. I've already turned it on. And she said them. I already turned them on. I already turned it on. Could you turn off the air conditioning? 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 
Will you turn off the air conditioner? Turn off the air conditioner. Could you turn off the air conditioner? Could you turn off the air conditioning? Will you turn off the air conditioning? Okay, so listen, listen again. Uh, could, okay, could, oh. could, could, could you could. turn off the air conditioning? Could you turn off the air conditioning? Air, something like this. Air, Will you turn off the air conditioning? Air conditioning. Air conditioning. Sure, but how do you turn it off? Sure, but how do you turn it off? Sure, but how do you turn it off? How do you turn it off? Oh, turn, it turn, it turn it off. Okay. Turn it off. Let me see. Okay. Sure, but how do you turn it off? Sure, but how do you turn it off? But how do you turn it off? Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Okay. So look at the question. Could you turn off the air conditioning? Sure, but how do you turn it off? Sure, but how do you turn it off? Sure, but how do you turn it off? Oh, Marielos, you have a question? Yes, teacher. Uh, and in the oración, could you turn off the air conditioner or con the, um, no se escribe conditioner? No, air conditioning. Air conditioning. Air condition. Air conditioning. Ah, uh, okay. Y mm -hmm. conditioner, eh, que es otra, es otra palabra. Well, let, let's check that. But the thing is the following, that you can use, um, you can use a gerund, uh, well, an ing uh, form, in order to create an adjective, okay, or a noun. So it's basically talking about el aire acondicionado. Entonces, um, when you use a, an ing form, it's, oh, okay. uh, you can create a noun, aire acondicionado, in that case, right? Ah, oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. Conditioner, um, but well, but yeah, we got a question, another question. You can also say air conditioner, air conditioner, because when you have words like, well, in this case, when you want to create a noun, you can also uh, add uh, some final endings like er in order to create a new noun. Uh -huh. um, so it it is also possible to say air conditioner. That's a yeah. machine. Uh huh. Yes. I know uh, for a conditioner. Uh -huh. Okay, teacher, gracias. Okay. I need to pick up the tickets. When will you pick them up? Okay. I need to pick up the tickets. I need, I to, need to pick, pick up, up the tickets. tickets. I need to when pick up will you pick them up? When will you pick it up? Pick it up? When um, okay. will you pick them, them, them up? Them. When will you them. pick them up? Uh -huh. up? I need to pick up the tickets. I need to pick up the tickets. When will you pick them up? 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 Okay, when will you pick them up? 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 So remember, guys, this is a matter of practice. So as much as we practice, um, what the sooner we're gonna learn how to pronounce that. When will you pick them up? 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 
Okay. When will you pick it up? When will you pick them 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 up? Them, them, them up. Them, them, them up. Okay. Okay, nice. Listen, um, I'm gonna ask you for something and I'm I'm gonna need um uh please uh submit uh send an audio with these uh pronunciation. I'm gonna I'm gonna could you turn off the air conditioning show you the words, the phrases, sure, and the questions again. I need to pick up and please um send me an audio pronouncing these uh, phrases, these sentences or questions. Okay, so please take a picture, take a picture. So it's going to be really, really easy. Okay, I'm going to drop off the car where you're going to drop it off. Don't forget to turn on your headlights. I already yeah. turned it on. Will you turn off the air conditioning? Sure, but how do you turn it off? I need to pick up the tickets. Why will you pick them up? Okay. Yes, that way. Simple. Okay. So send that audio to my WhatsApp. Saul, yes, tell me, Saul. Uh, it, today you don't want to take the attendance? Oh, yes, the attendance. Sorry. I will feel the time. Okay. We have some minutes. <laughs> we have some more minutes. Sorry. Uh, when I'm uh, when I'm in class, um, well, the attendance. Uh, well, I forget attendance. <laughs> okay, I sometimes forget it, but I pass it at the end. At the end, or like uh, okay. during during the session. But but thanks. Yes, remember me that. Okay. Okay. Uh, look at this. Now we have. Um, a conversation, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna sign you this exercise. So write the statements or question placing the direct objects correctly and then practice reading the sentences aloud with a partner. Well, we're gonna complete the sentences. Okay, so this exercise is going to be part of your homework, okay? So, and then you send that with your audio, okay? You send your audio and then you send your uh, your exercises, okay? It means these ones. Now, we're gonna be practicing with a short conversation model. We're gonna read and listen to someone describing a car problem. Look at the example. I'm dropping off my car. Was everything okay? Well, well, Actually, Juan Carlos, could you help me with the, um, I think there is some, some noise with your microphone. Okay, thanks. Okay, let me see. I'm going to help him. Okay, well, actually, the windshield wipers aren't working. I'm sorry to hear that. Any other problems? No, that's it. Is the gas tank full? Yes, just fill it up. Okay, let's see. Volunteers. Volunteers. By the way, what are the windshield wipers? Windshield wipers? What's that? Windshield wipers? Do you remember the sound the wheels on the bus go run and run? And then he mentioned no, parts reason. of that. Uh huh. Limpio para brisas. Okay, so they aren't working, right? Um, let's listen to the conversation and then we're gonna practice, okay? Read and listen to someone describing a car problem. I'm dropping off my car. Was everything okay? Well, actually, the windshield wipers aren't working. I'm sorry to hear that. Any other problems? No, that's it. Is the gas tank full? Yes, I just filled it up. Read and listen to someone describing a car problem. I'm dropping off my car. Was everything okay? Well, actually, the windshield wipers aren't working. I'm sorry to hear that. Any other problems? No, that's it. Is the gas tank full? Yes, I just filled it up.
Okay, let's see. Um, I'm gonna ask uh, some of you to read the following conversation. Saul and Raul, please, you guys start. Who's first? Mm -hmm. Your A, Saul and Raul, your B. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm dropping off my car. Was everything okay? Well, actually, we the oh sorry. Well, actually, the wheelchair wipers aren't working. I'm sorry to hear that. Any other problem? No, that's it. Is the gas thankful? Yes, you just fill it up. Okay, awesome. Carlos and Claudia, please. Carlos and Claudia. Carlos Alberto and Claudia Maria. Okay. Okay, teacher, I, I, A. I, B. Okay, I'm dropping off my car. Was everything okay? Well, actually, the windshield wiper, wipers aren't working. I'm sorry, do you hear that? Any other problems? No, that is, that's it. Is the gas thankful? Yes, I just filled it up. Mm -hmm. Fill it up. Fill it up. Fill it up. Fill it up. Okay. Read and listen to someone describing a car problem. I'm dropping off my car. Was, it, was everything okay? Well, actually, the windshield wipers aren't working. I'm sorry to hear that. Any other problems? No, that's it. Is the gas tank full? Yes, I just filled it up. Okay, perfect. Windshield wipers. Windshield wipers aren't working, right? Okay, let's see. Esmeralda and Fernando, please. Be my volunteers. Esmeralda and Fernando. Hello, guys. Sorry, I can drive. Are you driving? Yep. Okay, Irma and um Elizabeth Torres. Okay, teacher. I am I am dropping dropping off my car. Was everything okay? Well, actually the windshield wipers aren't working. I'm sorry to hear that. Any other problems? No, that's it. Is the gas tank full? Yes, I just fill it up. Okay, awesome, ladies. Very good. Uh, Jacqueline and Juan Carlos Cubillas. Are you here, Juan Carlos Cubillas? Jacqueline? Juan de las dos, Jacqueline. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I'm just noticing that. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, you and let's see, and Juan Carlos Cubillas. Okay. okay, I'm dropping off my car. Okay, now Juan Carlos Maravilla, are you here? So what's going on with the boys here? Come on, boys. Teacher, que tengo problemas de conexión por momentos. Oh, okay. Thanks. So, yes, please. Uh, always let me know if you have any situation like that. Okay. Carla Abigail and Mark. Uh, Carla Abigail, please answer. Okay. So we start again, please. Okay. I'm dropping off my car. Was everything okay? Well, actually, the widget wipers aren't working. I'm sorry to, I'm sorry to hear that. Any other problems? No, that's it. Is the gas tank full? Yes, I just fill it up. Okay, perfect. 
Okay, let's see uh, Marco, Antonio, and Rene Giovanni. Uh, and I don't know if, um, let's see. Okay, yeah. Marco and. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am dropping, dropping off my car. Was everything okay? Well, actually, the windshield wipers aren't working. I'm sorry to hear that. Any other problem? No, that's it. Is the gas tank full? Yes, I just fill it up. Okay, nice. Let's see, Ruth and Saul. Okay, teacher. Okay. Um, dropping off my car. Was everything okay? Well, actually, the one child wipers aren't working. I'm sorry to hear that. Any other problem? No, that's it. Either guys, thankful. Yes, I just fire it, it up. Fill it up. Fill it up. Fill it up. Fill it up. Okay, yes, I just fill it up. Okay, thanks. And let's see, we have Stephanie and uh, anybody else who hasn't participated yet? Stephanie and anybody? Me. Okay, Claudia. Okay. And Stephanie. Actually, you're right. Okay. Off my car. <clears throat> Was everything okay? Well, actually, the wheelchair wipers aren't working. I'm sorry to hear that. Any other problems? No, that's it. Is the gas tank full? Yes, I could fill it up. Okay, thanks a lot, ladies. Uh, we're going to uh, focus on these words. Actually, actually, actually. Well, actually, the windshield wipers aren't working. I'm sorry to hear that. Any other problems? No, that's it. That's it. Is the gas tank full? Yes, they just, just, just fill it up. Just fill it up. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pass the attendance list. Please uh, activate your microphones and say present. Okay. So just let me open that. So your intermediate computer, I guess. Yeah, right. I know. <laughs> I don't guess. I know that. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Uh, Carlos Alberto Martinez Alvarado. Present. Thank you, Carlos Alberto. Claudia Maria Garcia Rodriguez. Present. Okay. Esmeralda Isabel Martinez Orellana. Present. Thank you. Irma Jacqueline Manzano de Rivas. Present teacher. Irma, um, Elizabeth, I don't know yet how to pronounce your first name. Elizabeth Torres. Present teacher. Okay. How do you, what is your first name, Elizabeth? Um, Isabel. Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay, teacher. <laughs> Thanks. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara. Hello, Jacqueline. Not here. Yes, she was uh, here. Do you know if she's here? Let's check. Okay, uh, I don't know what happened to her, okay. Let's see, Jacqueline Rebecca Cermeño Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vasquez. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vasquez. Not here. Okay. 
Juan Carlos Cubías Bonilla. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos Maravilla Méndez. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Maravilla. Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodríguez. Present. Thank you, Carla. Luis Fernando Linares. Present. Thanks a lot, Luis. Uh, Marco Antonio Quijano. Present. Thanks. Uh, okay. Mar okay. Raul Antonio Perez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Raul. Rene Giovanni Martinez Aguilar. I am here, teacher. Excellent. Ruth Mariela Zamaya de Guardado. Here, teacher. Thank you, Ruth. Saul Alexander Lozano Calderón. Yes, I'm present. Okay, perfect. And Stephanie Jamilet Perez Romero. Okay. Stephanie Jamilet Perez Romero. Present. Thanks, Stephanie. Okay. Well, um, that's all for today's class. Uh, please um, remember to check the platform and complete the activity for today's lesson, okay? Uh, I don't know, guys, if you have any question. No, teacher. No question. Teacher, for, for the audio, what is the way to send you? Um, I'm gonna leave you a text uh, in the group so you can uh, contact me and then you send the audio, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna leave a, a message right now. Okay, so that's all for today, guys. I'll see you in our next class. Uh, remember that's tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye. It was Good a pleasure. Good night, thank you. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Saul, I don't know if you have any question. Activate your microphone, it's off. Not yet. Um, okay, thank you. Okay, Saul, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.